I started this craft five years ago, hand dipping beeswax tapers. It's an old world object and an artful process. My name is Alicia Mazella and I'm a beeswax candle maker and beekeeper based in upstate New York. Handmade objects are alive. There's a big energetic difference between objects that are slow made and objects that are mass produced. There's a depth that comes apparent and you can really feel the life, the energy of the maker. It was candle making that really led me to think of these handmade objects in such a way. Like, where does this object come from? Where are the materials sourced? Who am I supporting by buying this? Who's the maker? Who's the middleman? These questions are why I source beeswax from local beekeepers in upstate New York. 100% beeswax only to me means that it's pure, it's fresh, it's local and local economy is important. Small business is important. Supporting individuals is important. And this local economy is also what led me to see firsthand another mission that's really close to my heart, which is that beekeeping, specifically in upstate New York, lacks diversity. The honeybees of today were imported by colonists. And that's why beekeeping seems to stay in those bloodlines. This is what I wonder when I pick up beeswax from these elderly white men, like where is the diversity at? And that's what led me to create an educational apiary at Backland, which is our homestead and garden. We keep bees for relationship, to redistribute beekeeping knowledge specifically into the hands of people of color. There's this folktale or some study that was done that beekeepers live longer than other professions. And I really, I want that for us. I want to increase the number of BIPOC beekeepers in New York State. This is a social issue that gets real complex when you look at the roots, just like many agricultural relationships with people of color. But this is something that I believe in, a relationship with nature. The work I do revolves around this word in many ways, the word relationship. Relationship not just in the physical, the material, and like the matter that you can see, but even a relationship of what you can't see. And I think that's the real work. It's kind of like a candle, like, how often do you stop and consider how a candle actually burns? Like we all have burned candles and we've seen candles, we light candles, but can you explain it for real? There's the lighter and the wick, but in the end, a candle burns because of a relationship, because of a synergy with the elements that we, we can't see. The element of air, it's like the things that we can't hold on to. I wrote this poem of embodies this feeling that I'm talking about. Come in, don't you see? Here is where true richness lives. You are the powerful one, brilliant, incredible, able to move what may stand in your own way. You, come in, here is how you get current you are covered in movement, increasing, growing, waxing. You, you are tender, you are seed. You know the source, the water, the sun, the earth, invisible air. Complex by body, simple by faith, 
No need to measure. You are rich. Come in.